Greetings. I'm the Computer King, the supervillain of streaming. And welcome to From Hench to Mench, where our four, uh, we can't call them heroes, but we can call them protagonists. Look it up. Uh, <laughs> are uh, going to start their climb up the ranks. Someday hoping to become supervillains, perhaps. Or perhaps just the greatest sniper on earth, Acer. So, yesterday, um, I mean, not yesterday, sorry. Last week, it's, it's just like yesterday to me because I've been working on this stuff all ever since. Um, what happened? Crash? Oh, Crash has goldfish in his mouth. Um, <laughs> I thought so, so because that would be funny. Last last time, mm, I'm swallowing dry goldfish. Hold on. Okay, <clears throat> last time, uh, oh, let's see. We started off, and myself and Martyr were given a job to go make sure that a, a certain young girl. Uh, no, wait. Yeah, sorry. A guy touched a young girl who was our boss's daughter. How old was she? Did she? See, I thought she was younger, but then you made her talk, and I was like, "Oh, is she like an adult?" Yeah, she's like twenty-two, twenty-three. Oh, okay. So, touched the young lady, uh, inappropriate while trying to steal from her. So he was like, "I need you guys to go teach him a lesson. You're gonna go in there, martyr, and pretend to be her comfort. She's gonna tell you who the culprit is, and she's gonna lie to the police." Uh, and then we cut over to Knight and Acer, where we learned about their hitman style team. Um, but they were given the task of finding a young girl who was witness to a crime and needed to be silenced, aka do not let her go on the witness stand. And so they were like, all right, we got this. They get there. She's like a super psychic. Anytime she's in danger, she can, she, I don't, I don't think she's aware of it. But, like, people will jump in front of her and take a bullet for her, literally. Um, and so she kind of controlled Knight. And he was, we were like, they were like, ah, crap, we can't do anything about her. But then Acer was like, oh, her past, it is so much like mine. I must, I must raise her. And so instead of killing her or silencing her, they just kidnapped her. And uh, they're going to raise that poor little psychic girl. <laughs> And then it cut back to us, me and uh, Martyr. Well, we tracked down this guy to an alleyway. Martyr threatened him, punched the wall with his own fist, and then gave the pain to the guy. Uh, and then when he was like, do you understand? The guy ran away without saying hey, I also his slammed head. his head against the wall, and when he fell down, I stomped on his kneecap. True. And then he ran away without saying he understood. So I ran faster. And he doesn't really have a functioning arm anymore. I shattered that bitch. But you're pretty sure he understands now. Yes, and then I took pictures for the boss on my flip phone. <laughs> Just to, so I can be like, oh yeah, boss, he understands. Look. All right. Yeah. Now, which, which couple would like to go down the aisle first? I mean, which couple would like oh. to go back to their bosses and report in first? Uh, high or low, Gunner? Ask Knight. <laughs> He's the one who's going to have to go talk to the boss. High or low? <laughs> Scott? Hi. All right, it's me and uh, Daniel then. Going All back right. to uh, Big Bone Capone. Yeah, Big Bone Capone, <laughs> my favorite crime boss. And if he's Big not Bone. your favorite crime boss, then you're just not a good person. I prefer Big Bone Cannoli. <laughs> Don't say that to his face. <laughs> what, are you, what are you saying? He's a crime boss that runs an illegal rigatoni trade across the Mexican border? Wow. Anyways, we that, report that, is, that is very specific and weird. I don't know. I, I'm like he, he's he's Italian. He must yeah, like boss, he must he struggle, me. right? Basically, just tax evasion. So. He's a crime boss, sure, but he doesn't really do anything that bad. 
So, uh, you guys get to back to uh, Big Bone's office. I don't know what to call him. Big Bone, Capone, whatever. So, uh, is the job done? My daughter's home already. You guys took a while. I wanted to make sure that when we got him, it wasn't anywhere that had cops or, well, witnesses, you know? And I nod to yeah. crash to show yeah. off his phone. Yeah, I pulled it up and I was like, we made sure he's not going to understand, boss. Or that he understands never to do it again, boss. Oh, that arm looks like a noodle. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Very good. Mom's so, uh, uh, you two, you two are pretty helpful around here. More helpful than some of the others because of uh, some of the stuff you guys can do, you two. And so he, he goes uh, into a drawer in his desk. I've been persuaded to uh, advise you to uh, go to a meeting. He takes out two cards and hands them out to each of you. Um, all it has on it is an address and a picture of an anvil. Uh, six o'clock, they said. So you guys still have about a half an hour to get there. With traffic, you guys will get there fine. More than enough time. Do I recognize this anvil at all, or this address? Um, it's something you might have seen on TV or something. Uh, something about, uh, work. You're not sure. Oh, if you say so, Especially boss. when they put the words up on the screen. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if they'll let you work with me after this, but they say you guys are headed up, and me sending them guys who are heading up is good for me because it's good for you. <laughs> All right. Well, unless you want me to try and read this address, I guess you're driving, Ken. <laughs> I can do that. Just don't forget Big Bone told you if you guys ever get big. Yeah, boss. I always remember. Of course. All right. And now Knight has to report to their guy. How, how does Knight usually show up? Does he actually walk in normally and wait or does he sneak past people and just appear in an office does knight do the knight whole do batman the whole... thing where where he shows the up the batman thing that might one day get him shot it just disappears in the middle of speaking to somebody um he probably, he probably fucking does it to acer a lot and it pisses he probably does it because he knows it pisses her off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if it's like a big office building, it'll probably just blink to the door, and then. Nah, this is the the guy who works out of a little mom and pop store. He's actually working in the back because the mom and pop store is doing the laundering. I'll just walk in the front door and be all like, "Hey, how we doing?" <laughs> Hi, me again. Okay, so you get let in back there. So, what's the... Everything okay? No one's going to be testifying? Nope. I have a feeling she won't testify at all. And you're sure that about that, right? About 99% sure about that. 99? Human Why nature. Not a... Why not 100? I'm never 100% sure about anything, but close enough. Okay. I mean, she's a little girl. Did you shake her down or, or just scare her? Or did you um, have to go to further length? <laughs> Embellish as you choose. <laughs> 
So we convinced her it would be advantageous not to spill her story per se, and you know she can get really hurt if she does, and it would be better for her health if she didn't. All right, and uh, these guys, I mean, these people she was with at that house, anybody, any one of them give you problems? Or did you deal with the whole family? It's like a group home or something, I heard. I don't know. They didn't see me at all. (laughs) I mean, you're not wrong. (laughs) Uh, So uh, she got a visit from a ghost in the night. Sounds... Sounds interesting. So, uh, I got this thing. I mean, I guess there's two of you, even though I never really see the other one. Yeah, he's up here in my head. Yeah, uh, so I guess two is a uh, what I gotta do. So I, I said two. And he hands you two cards, you know, with the address and the, uh, um, anvil on it. You, uh, you want to go up in the world for me? Go to a meeting there at six. It's, uh, supposed to be really good for you. And it's going to be really good for me because it's getting me in with some people that are, uh, well, let's just say I could work for them, but I'd rather work with them. All right. Whatever. Makes me move up the ladder, makes things beneficial for you. Hey, it's good for all around, I guess. All right. Then uh, next time I see you, you're not going to be an employee unless I'm hiring you. And you're still taking contract. May not turn it down. Depends on what it is. Could be fun. Hey, it pays. I don't care. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. So, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Unless I don't see you. Huh? <laughs> he sticks yeah. it in. And my leaving, I just teleport out and then teleport to his apartment. <laughs> to Acer's apartment. Don't eat my cereal. <laughs> what time of day is it? Did you buy it's more? About, about, it's about 5.30 in the, in the evening. So you got a half an hour to get. Next day or same day? Same day. Fuck. No, I didn't have time to have buy more cereal. <laughs> I've been trying to settle in of Celia. I mean, I was at the store earlier. Could have gotten some. <laughs> you show up while I'm in the middle of showing, Celia, uh, getting Celia settled in. I love that you two are pretty much a married couple. Hey. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, no. You could have told me I was at the store earlier. <laughs> Why are you uh, at the soup store? Damn it. All right, you get our pay. Yeah, he gave you your pay. Which is, well, I, I'm talking since to... he, did, he didn't say anything about actually whacking the kid, is only half of what you could have. Yeah. Half of what we could have. I mean, unless. You should have said we burned down the whole city block. Damn it. <laughs> I found out. Oh, well. All right. That's good enough. So, what are you back here for? Oh, we have a party to go to in like 20 minutes. 20 <laughs> fuck it uh, hey Celia I we've I've got somewhere I need to go I guess it's short notice but you can have my room okay okay uh you're gonna be gone long long enough for you to <laughs> ransack the place good Celia <laughs> turning <laughs> turning to turning to night well I am. It's like a meet and greet type thing for a new employer. So, 
could be short. I don't know. I'll be I'll be back before sundown, okay? And here. <laughs> Probably pull out an old well not no, yeah, pull out a burner phone and give it to her. Ooh, look at fancy pants over here with a burner phone. This is this has got my number on it. If you need anything, um, just hey. I know this is weird and new, but it's gonna be all right. Okay. Okay. If, range, if your range is good enough, you could always just call my head. Look, I've been inside your head so many times, I could build it. If I had to, okay? Hers, Hers. I can't talk to straight. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I see what you mean. Um, well, Celia, would you be able to reach that far? I I don't know. Well, I don't know what I can do. It's, it's all new. We'll get back to that when I come back. Just... TV downstairs. Um, Tim's got a Xbox, I think. I don't know what it is, it, but it, that's in his room. And uh, well, if you need anything else, uh, what's mine is yours. Mikasa Sukasa. Thank you. Of course. All she right. Head strike for the TV. <laughs> That's fine. If she's on the TV, that's fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, turning. So, I don't usually handle this upfront stuff. Do, do I need to get my gear back on? It would always be nice to have it just in case. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Hide. All right, I'm gonna get stuff on, <laughs> and yeah, go and start gearing up. I guess so we can get out of here and get down the road. Insert gear up montage. Yes. All right, are we gonna get headed? Okay, so. The building that the address leads to is a pretty new addition. It's just been built in the past year, and uh, it's Anvil Employment Agency. About six floors of uh, what looks like boring business. Are we all there? Um, yeah, you'll all get there. Yeah, like... Probably not exactly at the right time, but uh, when someone, when the receptionist asks you uh, what your business here is, what you... <laughs> like when they get there, get there when they get there, Nico's trying to read the sign and he's like, and full I'm not even going to try that word. Or that one. What what are those words? It's okay. <laughs> I don't, what was the full thing again? Anvil, Anvil Employment Agency. Oh, employment. I wow. I'm just like Anvil Employment Agency. He Very tired people. Blinks and narrows his eyes and see him mouthing the words to himself as he tries to read them. He's like, Oh, now I see it. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I need glasses or something. Is there a way to fix this crap? I shrug. <laughs> I could hit you till your eyes are better. I don't think that's how... Face hitting montage! Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that, okay? Shrugs Let's just go again. inside. <laughs> yeah, inside, it's, it's what you'd expect. It looks like a regular agency. It's got the um, motivational posters on the wall, along with some other posters of 
Um, Hang in there. Some shots you might have seen on TV of this uh, guy who seems to be friendly, chummy with like the mayor of Phoenix, uh, the uh, mayor of Ashes, someone that looks like they might be the governor. You're not sure, but they just this is like a big guy with a. Uh, you can catch a glimpse of uh, artificial left arm. Um, he's ugly. I mean, take um, Curly from the Three Stooges and have him look beaten up with a broken nose. And that's about how this guy looks. But he looks like he's, uh, well, he's suited up and he's very proper and makes good with the politician. Huh. And once again, the uh, receptionist says, uh, "Can I help?" And Nico probably walks up, and he he looks like some kind of street punk, still wearing his you know windbreaker, <laughs> some ripped jeans, stuff like that, hands in his pockets, just walks up. It's like, yeah, uh, our boss said that we were supposed to come here at like six. And toss her the little thing that Big Bone gave us. Ah, uh, okay. That's the fourth floor. She'll gesture to the elevators. Huh. There's no reading exam, is there? No, there's no exam. Oh, okay. I don't know. I've never been to a place like this before. You, uh, keep receptioning. And just starts heading towards the elevator. Getting a funny look. look. Flawless. Here's my card. So tell us, tell tell us about how uh, Acer has geared up. Where is she back? Actually going in or not? Uh, actually, okay. So she is going to stick as close behind. Uh, night as possible and let do night let, let night do all the talking gotcha. she's actually got a yeah she's got a hood and mask on but with, she, gets, she gets the funny look with the bull well if she's not talking to anybody because then they realize there's a built in voice modulator gotcha <laughs> Wooden mask. Gotcha. Well, when your mission, when the main MO, or at least your bread and butter, is not being known by anybody and you have to make an in person appearance, it's really important that you still stay anonymous afterwards. Gotcha. Matter of fact, her shoes have probably got lifts in them. So she looks taller than she is. But, yeah. <laughs> I'll, just walk, I'll walk up to the desk and just plop the card back down and be like, I got this card. Where do I go from here? Fourth floor. She points to the elevator. Okay. Following in. How loud are you two talking? Um. Pretty loud. Pretty, pretty quiet, considering I'm not. Well, night was. True. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm fairly loud. I was like, all right, I got this card. Where do I go? And I'm, like, echoing through the whole lobby area or whatever. You know, like, Nico turns from, like, you know, just waiting for the elevator. Blake's looks or he's like, hey, Ken, look. I'll make my way to the elevator. Push the up button. Okay, you guys get to the fourth floor, and it's uh, kind of looks like a lecture. Oh. Of course, if the picture doesn't ever come up, I was going to say this is a beautiful ballroom. Oh no, not a ballroom. Courtroom. 
<laughs> you've all, void. Been, just, you've all been coming to super criminal court. <laughs> super court. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. We have now been summoned to super court. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. <laughs> don't know why that didn't work. It was supposed to be on the freaking map. Well, we get the point. It looks like a lecture hall. Okay. Yep, and uh, right by the door is a police officer. Fuck. And in, in the seats are very confused looking guys. Girls dressed uh, in various ways. A lot of them Adopting the hoodie and uh, look like they're slumping down, not looking the cop. Yeah, like the second Nico walks in and sees this cop, he's just like, fuck. <laughs> oh, damn it. I, I nod to the cop. He's probably been my like arresting <laughs> officer a couple times. This was a fucking setup. I swear to God, that bad asshole just threw us into wolves. Oh, get us out of here if we have to. Don't worry. <laughs> hearing all of this acers talking in uh knight's head okay so you can go invisible and i can fuck up the police officer's mind if i have to think it'll be good enough if not i've got the glock hmm by the way have we seen each other yet I mean, maybe. Sure, if you want to have. Sure, maybe. Yeah, maybe we have seen each other, but, you know, it probably hasn't registered that for. Yeah, it probably hasn't registered with uh, Acer. So, what does Acer's suit look like? Splinter Cell from the sounds of it. Oh, okay. No. Um. Closer to that. It's just like, yo, I think that's a, is that a FBI? <laughs> yeah, right? All no. black. Who, who, who have we met before has a gun like that and dresses like that? Oh, was I actually allowed to walk in with my dragon off? Are you carrying the gun out in the open? Mm, no, no. Well, it's fine. Who, who, she, who it's in a case, isn't it? It's not, It well... It's not in a case because that means that it would be visible and it, it's more or less hidden underneath the cloak well then but you answered your own question okay no well, who do we know that dresses like that and oh no, wait it's we not know a cop. Wait. i forgot we've met each other before yep never mind i take that back <laughs> yeah i'm probably just like hey look it's our friends or it's our friends. There you go. Hard to remember the voice. Well, let's hope that they're not here to take us in, too. <laughs> I just chuckled. It's, like, eerily quiet because, you know, police stop. City. And then, uh, then yeah. a mousy-looking woman comes out of a side door with a, a box... Puts it on the uh, desk in front, which actually is the door more like a desk than a um, than anything and a lectern for speeches. I mean, it's even got one of those uh, clicky clack ball things. <laughs> clicky clack ball things, I love it. She, the Newton uh, balls. Proceeds... Yes, that's it. Newton's cradle. Oh God. And. Uh, she brings out a remote control and gets a screen to come uh, rolling down. It, she can even lower the lights and start the projector, which puts up a uh, big picture of uh, that guy's face I told you about from all the pic from all those pictures in the uh, lobby. And uh, the video starts. Hello. My name is Beauregard Baines, 
And uh, you guys probably know me from around town, maybe on TV. Uh, I started this business. This is a good employment for people. Uh, right below me, probably, is Terry. She's uh, my administrative assistant. She has lots of good uh, information. She's like my walking memory. So uh, if you need something, you might want to ask her about it. Uh, she's going to start handing out the uh, applications now. She proceeds to get up and start walking around <laughs> handing people applications. There is a written test. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, you just hear like from his seat, just, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, over to the side of her should be Officer Jenkins. He gives a wave, though he doesn't look really happy to be there. Officer Jenkins is going to be acting parole officer for those of you who need it. This is a special pri pilot program, and some of you are on parole. So, <clears throat> the uh, the mayor and the governor have allowed me to have him transfer your files to his office, which is actually on the fourth floor, uh, fifth floor. So if you guys uh, need to make a appearance, all you have to do is come here. Same place you come if you're really looking for work and you want to let us know. Uh, that's when the officer um, gives another wave and then walks out. To... Okay. Now, my philosophy is everybody needs a job. And by a job, I mean something to do to keep them active in the community. And uh, while he's saying stuff like this, um, Terry gets up after handing out all the papers, goes to the door that the uh, officer left at, opens it a little bit and peeks out, and uh, then crosses back across the room to uh, another the side door that she came out of and opens it up walks back to the center of the uh, room and turns off the uh, projector. In walks a, let's say, big guy. I mean, I think SEAL Team 6 big. Um, he's got uh, one arm that looks like it's uh, some sort of cyberware, shining chrome. He's got an Adonis mask. And... Uh, He's wearing a green army uh, vest, t-shirt underneath. He's got uh, a couple of guns on either hip. <clears throat> Greetings. I am called Eye Candy on account of uh, I'm so pretty. He gestures to his mask. <laughs> he gestures to his mask which is Adonis, you know, Greek pretty boy. And he takes it off and it's, uh, it's Baines. Okay, so you guys, you were sent here by your bosses because I'm now your boss. This whole thing is, well, actually I do want it to be a, a good running employment office, but in your case, it's where you're going to be getting even more jobs of the kind you like to do. Terry gets up and uh, hands everybody a uh, cell phone out of the box. This is a burner phone. So if you break it, it's fine. We'll get you another one. But if you don't call out on it unless you get a text from us with codes. She uh, hands everybody a piece of paper afterwards on that paper are the basic uh, instructions to the codes you guys have to memorize that like before you leave <laughs> and uh, destroy it in front of us I... and if and if you don't i'll make you eat it it's rice paper you actually can't eat it you hear a uh, small this is 
voice. This is where we ask for questions, right? You hear a small voice reach into your head, Martyr, and say, I am so sorry you have to do this. All right. And if you look around, this is a lecture hall. We also have uh, English as a second language courses. If some of you are not that good with English, we've got GED classes that we've set up. I want this to look as real as possible. Uh, and at that martyr actually probably does raise his hand. Okay, you have a question. What if we've got <laughs> learning disabilities? Like, I can't fucking read a thing. Letters look like numbers, numbers look like letters, everything's fucking backwards. I mean, what the shit? Oh, you're gonna be real helpful in uh, making this look real, because we'll get you a tutor. Oh. And for right now, if you've got a pal with you, you they can help you fill out the form. <sighs> in yeah. fact, those forms, they don't go anywhere other than our database. Terry here is gonna scan them in, destroy them. So anything you give us, all we know is what you give us. Also, under uh, references, put the name of uh, who, whatever boss sent you to. So, question. What does this form actually look like? I'm asking the DM. It actually looks like the same kind of form you normally fill out for a, a temp job. Okay. So, under... Do they ask for full name? Yes. Yes, with the little squares to put it in proper. Okay. Just asking. Do they want full middle name or just uh, <laughs> initial? Just, just initial for middle name. <laughs> yeah, good, because that's the only way that Nico's ever practiced it. He still has trouble spelling his middle name. And say you're just gonna get a first name, Acer. Middle middle initial, nothing. Last name, underscore. And that video was right. This is a pilot, and the pilot is. Oh, we can get anybody to work and be a productive member of society. We're not gonna tell them what the hell jobs we send you on. We're just gonna be giving you a paycheck. The week after you get him to a job. There's a massive sigh from me. I'm like, oh, thank God. <laughs> At the mention of paycheck, Nico, it's, it was like, first you had my attention, like, my interest. Now you have my attention. Actually, um, at the mention of paycheck, you hear a voice from the back. <laughs> Do you send cash? <laughs> no, they don't send cash. But we, we do uh, direct deposit. <laughs> if you've got some way of uh, getting a an account that is not traceable to you, I'm guessing uh, from the voice that you're the one in the back with the mask. He pulls down his mask for a second. Because I'm, I like to do this too. I understand. Outside of the U United States, I'm pretty much a wanted man. He pulls it back up. <laughs> but here in my lovely hometown of ashes i'm like the community guy why it's great this... <laughs> he kind of reminds me of grunkle stan <laughs> from gravity falls finally i have them all the whole party <laughs> i really i i i'm finding it hard to not like this guy <laughs> so probably most of you or probably maybe all of you don't know who i candy is some voice in the back. I, I know who you are. Unless you're a... He stops. He looks over at the guy who said it. Unless you're a real big nerd with international crime or potential law enforcement. The guy shrinks down behind his, <laughs> the table. But, uh, yeah, I work for people, too. But you guys work for me. Everything comes downhill. If I do well, you do well. If you do well in your job getting not whatever we need done, you get paid, I do well, I go up, you go up. Understand? 
a lot of people are actually starting to fill out their, their forms now. Yep. I am. It doesn't be good. Yeah, like every like couple seconds, Nico like nudges you and is like, "Hey, what's that word?" Oh, just write this here. <laughs> <laughs> Acer is just filling out. I mean, like if you ask Batman to fill out a financial for a <laughs> financial Name, form, Batman address Batcave, more or less. Yeah. Knight's not so nice about it. He's going to write his name, Knight. Reference, whatever that dude's name was. And that's all he's putting on the form. Nothing <laughs> else. I'm the only one getting a job today. We're going we're gonna to fuck up his bureaucracy, boys. <laughs> Nico puts everything down. Reference, uh, Big Bone, C Big Bone, <laughs> uh, Capone. Accidentally puts Big Bone. <laughs> He big does accidentally cannoli. put big bone cannoli, but that's just because he misspelled it. <laughs> the P looked like an N to him when he wrote it down. <laughs> I could just... Oh, man. So you guys just fill them out <laughs> in the back and girls and whatevers. Look, put it like this. I've got a gender specific a gender neutral, non specific term for all of you. Dumbasses. How about that? <laughs> you dumbasses, just fill out the form, and uh, I got another jo uh, first job for you. You had to leave someone in order to come here. They have an, uh, an opening now. You got to go out there and find somebody to fill your opening. Six, six of the most childish looking guys there giggle a little bit. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Terry gets up and goes over and starts putting a different, a slightly different form in front of you. It's basically the same, but uh, it doesn't have a spot for, well, it, it has the question, do you have any felony convictions instead of what are your felony convictions? <laughs> uh Nico can definitely say no because he's been pinched a few times, but the charges have never stuck. I, I at some point I have to turn the whole paper over. <laughs> <laughs> Felony manslaughter, attempted murder in the first degree, murder in the first degree. So you take that second form, and you find somebody who's will, who's looking to work in the same kind of business you used to work for, or at least any kind of business like that. Then you bring that to me. Or actually, it's going to be Terry. I've got to go soon. You this bring that to her by this time tomorrow. This, this will show one. us that you have some people person skills. We also have on staff a pretty damn good lawyer in case you get in trouble. Because, like I said, this is a pilot program to show that you guys can uh, work and not be and be good people in society. So if something happens, I'm going to have Jenkins up my ass saying, I'm going to tell the governor that you're failing. And I don't want the governor to think I'm failing. Because that means I get to stop using you people for jobs. You get it? <laughs> Nodding. This feels like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it really is. But shh. So, uh, was there anything else, Terry? She thinks, shakes her head. Okay, that's it. Any more questions before I go? I got a helicopter on the roof. I'm good. I gotta go out and... When do I get my tutor? All right, uh, talk to Terry after this, and uh, she'll set up tutoring sessions. And get you into the uh, GED course, okay? How to use and abuse. <laughs> God, this is... I don't understand what's going on. It feels like I've just joined... A, it's like a time shares, you know? Well, it we feels like I've joined the MLM. <laughs> and and uh, the free... The reward we get out of this time shares program is a good... Terry taps on, taps on him for a second. He looks at her, and she's, she taps on her forehead like... Uh, I, I was thinking, and then does the finger across the neck thing, 
and he says, "Oh yeah, I, I, we both forgot that, huh? Uh, dudes, we're not looking for people to run around in the streets committing horrible murders all day long. So if you're crazy murder happy, don't be. I mean, <laughs> if it's part of the job, that's different, and you're not going to be running around trying to be um, public about it. But if you're just killing people for sport," Don't do that. You don't know who's gonna be who works for us, who works for somebody who used to work for us. You know. One guy gets up, holds up the paper, flash fries it somehow. It just poof like uh when a magician lights a piece of paper on fire and just starts storming out. All right. You had a chance, man. You can join this. You just have to Rain in some of your impulses. And he just storms out. Uh, that's when uh, Eye Candy looks at uh, Terry and nods towards the door and she goes and uh, peeks, at, peeks out the door for a little bit, turns and nods to him. All right. I uh, hope you guys remember that face because who knows? If he starts bringing down a lot of heat, we might have to take him down instead of waiting for the idiots at the police station to do it. Excellent. E even better if uh, a couple of people who work for me happen to make a citizen's arrest on a guy who's running around apparently burning people to death. It, look good. it looks good for everybody, right? Yeah, Nico's definitely trying to commit that guy's face to memory. Because now we know right. someone to beat up. Okay. Any any other questions? Good, good. Uh, I'm gonna. I gotta. As I said, I gotta get to the roof and then get to. Well, he pulls down his mask. I'm not going to tell you where. <laughs> it's certainly, it's not going to be in the U.S. Though. Um, I'm out for a few days. Terry will take care of you for now. Don't forget to get a replacement, or we might have to send you back to the small pond you came from. And he uh, turns and leaves, leaving Terry there sitting uh, semi-awkwardly waiting for people to finish their four. <laughs> She's not going to like what I have to turn in, but it gets turned in. Pretty much the same page. <laughs> I actually do want to hang around and talk to uh... when, she, when she does she go um she when you give her the paper she hold asks you to wait um takes the paper puts a number on top of it asks you um asks you for your phone uh the, the phone they gave you of course and uh she activates it looks like with that number and hands it back to you. Thank you. I actually do want to talk to Martyr and Crash once we're out of this place. So I probably pop in their heads for a second and say, <laughs> meet us on, <laughs> probably pick, I don't know, a cafe? Yeah, they're still open this time of day. Pick a cafe to meet at. Yeah, he was probably talking with uh, Ken and was like, Basically, he's like, hey, remember our high school? Let's go there and find two people who just, you know, need jobs, and we'll throw them at Big Bone. He just kind of, like, shrugs, like, I wasn't there long. But okay. It don't matter if you were there long. Just saying we need two people who can do, you know, shitty work for a mob boss. I have contacts. <laughs> As... I do too, especially when it involves gang-related stuff. Because of my stunt. Ooh, oh my. So, I, yeah, I would like to get a chance to talk to them out of earshot of this place. Yeah, I'd probably stick around since, you know, we're buddies. Kinda. So. After Ken helps you finish your um, yeah, takes four. a while. Actually, no, I do have to go talk to uh, Terry. 
since I'm the one that's apparently going to keep this place legit. Yep, she, she uh, gets your name and uh, says she, that lets you... Good. I'm a criminal, but I also want to better myself. God. Oh, boy. <laughs> inside Knight's head. So, where are we going to find a two-man hit team? <laughs> yeah, that's what was puzzling to my mind is how are you going to get somebody that knows how to break in? <laughs> well, he doesn't really care. He didn't really care how we did it, and I'll be honest, our style was a little more unconventional. So we just need to find two idiots to take our places, I guess? Well, you already have a psychic, so you just need a ghost. I'm not throwing an <laughs> eight-year-old... No, she's 12, right? 10. <laughs> Ten. Not throwing a 10-year-old girl into a fucking merc position. I was just going to say, just name two random fucking people on the street. <laughs> hey, you, man in the suit with the wonderful briefcase. You want a job? I imagine this is something we're gonna have to go through. We're gonna have to look through our contacts, huh? Probably, unless somebody has any other idea. But we could start up our own firm for hiring people. No, really, just want to get away from this building to ask yeah. Crash and Martyr what the <laughs> fuck they're doing here. It probably doesn't take too long before we're also out. Yeah, because I'm not doing a four-way relay race between <laughs> four people in the middle. Of, we can do that later when it's important, but if I don't have to, I don't fucking want to. Yeah, you're wondering what we're doing here. I was about to ask the same thing. Greed. You keep doing bear the boulder breaker, by the way. Yeah, I know it's really hard. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. I love how Acer's voice modulator voice sounds like a fucking I don't know. <laughs> just I don't know, like a 16-year-old with a crappy mic. On Xbox Live. Oh, God. I see rotate A, dumbass. <laughs> Sorry. But. No, I, I'm assuming we're able to get somewhere safe to talk. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> Some, yeah, somewhere out of uh, eye sh ear, ear and eye shot and pop comes the mask off and. Okay. I don't mean to be rude, but what the fuck are you two doing here? A fucking job. I thought we were going to ask you the same thing. We're the ones who are, well, semi-legit. Semi-legit? You listen here, little punk. We've been on... <sighs> Never mind. Look, we got asked to the same place by our bosses, too. Right, Knight? Yeah. There's a little card. Told us to come here. So I was like, okay, we're getting promoted. Yay! Little did I know we'd be working for a fucking pyramid scheme. Are you suddenly growing a moral conniption at doing that? I am more used to working as a contractor and not as an employee. Thank you very much. Well, hey, I get, get free it. GED out of this. That's fine with me. <laughs> Yeah, spell spell the full name instead of the acronym, and I'll believe you. He just gives you this look, like you know that one of the few things that actually really bothers him is when people bring that up. <laughs> it's like look, Jesus, what what the fuck? Is it your time of the month or something? Fuck you. <laughs> My no, only problem. Just... Go ahead. Thing. You know, hey, we're not talking I, about. I, I've kept a track record of staying off radars. 
okay? If they're going to do a stupid little card that's going to put me in the system, that's a problem. I have to take cash for all my jobs. That's how it works. That's a big problem for me, too. I just think there's more going on than we're being told here. Of course there is. There always is. Yeah. Glad to see that running, that a lifetime of running into walls has an addled your brain, man. Yeah. He shrugs. So I could be running into people looking at you. What day of the week is it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. You trying to see how far along the ride she is? No. Because let's, if we're let's going... say Thursday. Okay, so it's a school night. Damn, that means we probably can't just go wandering out and find two people like, Hey, kid, you want a job? Yeah, we can. Only we the can. ones that you already know do not belong in the school system are going to be out on a school night. Oh, true. So that's, that's actually, actually a, good a pretty point. good filter. So, if we don't have anything else to talk about, I think it's time that I, for one, at least find my replacement for Big Fat Cannoli. Look... I'm just, just, he'll work hey if all i'm asking is out of the rest of those deranged fucking knuckleheads if there's anybody i'd rather be stuck in a four-person group with it'd be you two so if that happens i don't know maybe <laughs> eh, we work well together when we do well we did once. And that was by accident. <laughs> All right. But as long as we're not... Act I know you two, and you guys don't act like Mr. Firestarter that walked out early. So... By the way, do you know that guy? Because, uh... Do I know that guy? No. Okay. We we come across him, I'd like to, you know, kick him in the dick a few times and throw him to the wolves. And by wolves, I mean cops. Could throw him through a wall. Alive, not dead. He might survive. He might I got survive. it, I got it. How about I shoot him, you transfer the pain from him to the bad guy. I don't like that plan. I kind of like that plan. <laughs> All right. Anyways, gotta go hit up some contacts. See if I know any two. If we know any two man teams roaming around. Damn, they need this by tomorrow too. Why do you think I'm about to head out? Yep. All right, guys. And if you guys hear anything about Mister Candy Face, whatever, you uh, you let us know, okay? Yeah, we can do that. I cannot get a voice for this guy. I yeah, like, Nico's just like sitting on the hood of Ken's car. He's like, eh, yeah, come on, Ken. I can't walk all the way home. <laughs> so I mean, I could. We're like, a married we're... couple, and we're like a high school couple. What? Because you guys are arguing about picking up cereal from the store, and he's sitting on my car like, come on, take me home. <sighs> Fine, don't appreciate my humor. No, I don't appreciate your humor. <laughs> Especially since these two, <laughs> Knight and fucking Acer met during a home invasion. Specifically hey. Acer's home. Mr. and Mrs. Knight Robinson. Something else. When, what? Mr. and Mrs. what? Robinson, the whole story about the, the, the funny movie about the two spies who are dating. I haven't or seen Mr. Smith. Mr. Mrs. Smith, yeah. I have not seen that. One's a KGB spy, one's an FBI spy, or CIA spy. Was she KGB? I didn't realize. I forgot. Well, it was during the Cold War. Huh. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm like, I just kind of like shrug and head towards the car, open the door and climb in. There's a shift in the weight. Come on, let's get to the Toyota. <gasps> okay. Right. Guess, guess it's time we found a replacement. 
So, so do we roll? Do we roll contacts? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> do I get my plus two for this being gang related? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Contacts. Oh. Three. I'm okay with that. Okay. Now, how do I think what I would do since it's plus two is. Here we go. <laughs> All right, you better have something nice. That was crafts. That was crafts, not contacts. Oh fuck! You're wait. Oh, it's to the left, not the right. Well, it's the same damn thing. Oh. Hey, you did better that time. <laughs> well, night, and I still can't come up with anybody on our own. Okay. Ken and Martyr. You know, as you're talking about the high school, well, maybe 10 blocks or so from the high school is a uh, the boys and girls club. And you guys got, you're told that uh, there's a gang that hangs out there. Uh, they're called the Lords of the Hood. And they usually have a shitload of people there at night. Because the uh, maintenance man let them in, lets them in. Uh huh. And they usually have a whole bunch of people who, you know, they don't have jobs or shit. And they're, they're the main guys are a gang, but not everybody's in the gang that hangs out there. That would be a good place to get a bunch of people. Yeah, definitely. Like, uh, Nico would head there once uh, oh, yeah. Once it got to that time of day and would just be like doing the whole sitting on or, you know, lean back against a fence, look, trying to look cool. Pedophile. Yeah, Fuck the off. guy would probably say uh, you, you, you've got to tell the um, maintenance guy that you're looking for the philosopher. Pronounced that way with the D's and the A at the end. Don't the D's. The, the, the philosopher. The philosophize. Oh, the philosopher. He's got it. The philosophize. Yeah, but. No, uh, the philosopher. Like philosopher. Yeah, philosophy. The philosopher. The philosopher. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's not getting in. No, the character in. would get it. I don't. No. I rolled a six, you rolled a three. Yeah, that's just a nowhere to go. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just go straight up. <laughs> it's like, y'all need to see the philosopher. Well, he'll let you in the uh, back door, which leads to a uh, basketball court. Well, it's like one of those multi-basketball courts. Um, hmm. They've got those push pushback bleachers that... Uh, if you really want to, you can have the whole area be basketball courts, or the main, main area in the center be the, the basketball court, and both sides have people sitting in the stands. But uh, right now, it's got uh, just the main basketball court and the practice hoops, which uh, are like one on the left, one on the right, and two on uh, the far side. And that's where the door is that you come in on the far side of the pra practice groups like around there sitting in the bleachers there's uh, several people but there's about 15 20 people playing basketball just uh, enjoying themselves okay so it looks like there's plenty of potential 
Yeah, I want to look for someone who's probably <laughs> chucking people the hardest, <laughs> even though it's not allowed, you know. Mm, Mario well, just goes to the standing. bleachers. Yeah, in the bleachers, there are some, some, several interesting people. Um, the three that stand out the most are wearing uh, leather jackets with silver adornments on them uh, and lords across the back of one of them. Uh, one of them's uh, sitting basically dead center. He's got, he's, well, it looks like he had a very large afro, but he's got a girl sitting behind him who's uh, quickly uh -huh. turning, turning it into cornrows. So he's like ha half cornrows right now, half afro. And next to him is a, a radio playing some music. And in his hand is the uh, plug to the radio, which he makes sure he's got a firm grip on. Wait, what? He's holding the unplugged in cord to the radio that's playing music. Ah, yeah, he's uh, okay. he's providing electricity for it. Okay. Yeah, Nico just kind of like walks up to those three, looks at him, and the Rayo's like, hmm, pretty cool trick. Okay, uh, let's see. You got that roll of six, Martyr, so you know that the guy with the radio and the, and the soon-to-be cornrows has got to be the philosopher. Because they were talking about him having a big app. You the you the philosopher. Yeah, man. Who the hell are you? People call me martyr. Mark? Was that Mark? Or mm. did you actually say martyr like somebody who sacrifices themselves? He sounds like he has maybe what's left of a Texas accent. Yeah, bingo. Kind of one who sacrifices themselves. Trust me, it makes more sense when you know how I'm a freak, too. <laughs> freak? He, he frowns at that. And uh, the two other guys who have leather jackets start coming down the bleachers towards you. What do you mean, freak? You know, can do things that most people can't. Things that don't make sense. Like holding on to the end of a radio and getting it to play, or uh, being able to make people feel pain that's not theirs, or make them not feel pain. Being a big old battery for it. You know, he raises a hand and the two guys who were approaching <laughs> stop. I mean, one of them's real big, and he's got, um, well, it's it's weird to call it flair, like uh, on, um, what do we call it, uh, restaurant um, employees' outfits, but it's basically flair. <laughs> flair made out of uh, the grill signs of various truck models. There's a Chevrolet symbol, Ford, um, a Ram, um, a Right in the right in the center, hanging around his neck, is one that says Mac. So I found my replacement. <laughs> Listen, we're here looking to see if you you and your friends might want a job. And you're gonna give us a job, man? Well, I know someone who could. You ever heard of a man named Big Bone Capone? Yeah, I heard of him, but I didn't think he worked with uh, people like us. Oh, me, my friend over there, and I, like, <laughs> wave off towards a crash. Me, my friend over there can say for a fact that he does. But we've recently moved pawns, and well, that's a good opportunity, wouldn't you say? Yeah, of course, of course, but how do we know to trust you? Just to know, you guys are not calling in the other two, huh? Mm, you mean, uh, Knight and Acer? 
Yeah. No, nah, they seem to think that they had their own idea, but uh, definitely probably when we figured out that there would be a lot of people. Yeah, actually, when we figured out there'd be a lot of people at the club, might have sent a very badly worded text to Knight or Acer that we know a place where they could find replacements. Good point. Please! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with those roles, they need the help. Yeah. You're like, oh. This is why I say a team of four. <laughs> well, you don't have to believe me, but uh Well then who's gonna do your who's gonna do our old jobs? I mean they paid nice. Yeah, pay's a good thing. Pay's a good thing, man. Now uh did the other two go uh come in or catch up with them somewhere? Since Nico would have called them, maybe we should run over uh, that as a flashback. The phone call, please. <laughs> yeah, he would have been trying to text and then got so frustrated with one of or more of the words that he's just like fuck it and like calls night or night or ace or whoever would actually give him their phone number. <laughs> night. Yeah, I was like one hundred percent night. But Acer can be there, too. Oh. Hey, how's the search going? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea where to go. <laughs> I thought as much. Well, lucky for you, I'm a nice guy, and I thought I'd say that uh, there's a boys and girls club not far from me and Crash's old high school that's got quite a few people looking for work. Okay. Yeah, just make sure that Acer knows that uh, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> wow. Alright, he's reading my brain so he knows. <laughs> oh, well. Alright, well, we'll see you there. Or not. Yeah, no, we want you there, fuck. <laughs> And then just like, just as quickly, t click. <laughs> Alright, so apparently they oh, have the stuff. Girl, I didn't know if you were able to find it. I ain't got nothing. Like but go to this basketball court thing. In the middle of talking with Celia. Um, what? Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay, just a second. Okay, Celia. We're gonna be out for just a bit again. We'll be back, though. Okay. <laughs> this is not going as well as I thought it yeah. was. Every moment. Never hmm. mind, can't teach you. So would you you guys have met them before they went in or, I think or probably, catch up? We wouldn't have gone in without them, so Yeah. Okay, so there's four of you there. Good. You see Acer in mostly the same getup. Mostly it's just hood and mask, though. <laughs> and then nondescript clothes. No Dragunov. Don't. <laughs> didn't bring a gun. I didn't say I didn't bring a gun. I said I <laughs> didn't bring the Dragunov. Yeah, it was like a... Yeah, Big Bone can pony. He needs two people. Bruiser and someone who can uh, follow orders. Our guys need uh, hit men, women. Doesn't matter. He just needs someone who can uh, take care of targets. This is in your head. And we also need two hit men. Not for Capone, but uh, my scary friend in the hood and the mask has other opportunities. Yeah, you, they probably point to a person standing, in the, standing away from everybody else on the other side of the gym in the corner. In the shadows. So you just walking off on people hiring hitmen? 
That's how confident I am that I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> in your head, tell them we're working for a startup. <laughs> oh god, no. Besides, this is your opportunity to get on the ground floor or something, hmm? You do well. I do well. And if I do well, you'll do well. What? Circular logic there, but okay. Good show. Golf clap. It's the same thing that uh, our boss told us. Well, it's a pyramid scheme. He well, he said if if you do well, I do well, and if I do well, I go up, and if I go up, you go up. Oh right, yeah, he'd explain it basically like that. The, you know, you do well, and I do well, and when I do well enough, I go up, and when I go up, things go even better for you. It sounds real pretty. But, uh, you know, folks like us, he looks at his uh, the two big guys with him. We used to be related to people who did manual labor for people for free. You know, history bullshit. And it's hard to trust people that aren't close, you know? Yeah, trust me, I know what it's like. In my old country, uh, we were fighting off the Russians just to stay alive. I'm really tempted to just, like, dash right into his face to be like, is this close enough? <laughs> well, I was thinking about uh, talking inside his head. I'm as close as you're ever gonna get. <laughs> but believe me, we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be talking to you unless we thought that this was a mutually beneficial arrangement. A mutually beneficial arrangement. Oh, you make it sound so pretty. I, I have an idea of how I can trust you. Do you know the procedures and, uh, well, what you have to go through to uh, become a member of an exclusive group like ours? I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Oh. Give, give me a context roll, Mario. I'm just like, do we gotta kill one? With this V, with the plus two? Yeah. Yeah, the mic's gone. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you know the term uh, getting jumped into a gang? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what he's talking about, it sounds like. <laughs> uh, why not? I could use the boost anyway. <laughs> okay, give give us a minute. Uh, he nods towards the center of the main court. Go uh, wait in that circle. All right? I think I got a good way of making us be able to trust you. He, like, cracks his hands, and he's like, all right. <laughs> in your head, you hear, are you sure this is a good idea? I can still go get my rifle if you think this is a bad idea. I shrug because I don't know what's about to happen, so I just go to just right back to he's like, relax. Nobody's trying to kill anybody, by the way. And try not to mess up this place. I mean, where where are the people supposed to go? The boys and the girls. If their basketball court gets fucked up, okay? Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> fuck this place up. Wait. Do we are we fighting? <laughs> we gotta fight back, right? My friend makes a good point. Do uh, we get to protect ourselves? Of course, of course. Oh, <laughs> oh this will be good. I'm oh. eyeing the other big guy like, this will be good. Something that might be able to take a punch. Okay. I, I do have oh. mental... I do have mental blasts. <laughs> Well, those, those would probably be perfect for not not fucking up the room. Uh, those would be. I have something fucking. even better where I could just end the fight with my uh, collateral damage effect. <laughs> How big well, is my I, zone? Didn't I tell you what my my? Uh, each each of those uh, rectangles is a zone. The bleachers is one. 
The main court's another in the practice hoop is the third. But so, within the zone, you can move anywhere you want. Here, let's put myself out there. Okay? So by the way, with my uh, collateral damage guys, anyone who's an unnamed NPC that's in my zone, uh, when I use my collateral damage effect, they just die. Okay, but we want them to be our backup. Yeah, but they're or... named, I'm assuming. They won't die. <laughs> I mean... Sure. Remember, there's people playing basketball here, too. Yeah, yeah but not. once the fight starts, they might know to uh, vacate the premises. We'll see. I'm probably not going to just kill everybody in the room. That would probably actually be the opposite of what I want. But it's nice to know that I can do that. That's a big area of instant death. I, I realize I don't have a picture. I'm like, shit. I was going to say, Knight, are you going to have some fun with this? Or are you just invisible right now? Well, currently I'm visible, but if things get hairy, man, I'm disappearing. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm not going to shoot anybody because, yeah, <laughs> that'd be bad. Fuck, I need a picture. This is tough. Like, I'm typing in, like, mobster, gangster, and I'm getting these, like, super well-kempt dudes. Like, what the fuck? Like, not... I'm talking, like, actor-style dudes. Put in punk. Ah, thank you. That would work better. And that's giving me punk rock. Jesus. Punk gangster. Mix the two. Yeah. Oh my god. Just be Joe Pesci. What, do I look fucking funny to you? Oh, I don't want to use that picture. That's, um... Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> it said White Devil Kingpin, and I was like, mm. <laughs> let's avoid that. <laughs> That's a real person, real person. Um... God, there are all these, like, older dudes. Um... Whatever. I'll use this guy's uh, fucking portrait. Some mobster dude. John Getty? Yeah. <laughs> John Spaghetti? <laughs> John Spaghetti. <clears throat> All I see is a black circle. I'm That's mine. Oh. oh. <laughs> I see a circle of night. I like this. It's okay. one of Mickey Mouse's ears. Uh, download. I just realized I needed to check the chart. Show one, one folder. folder. Pinch to minch. Edit. Drag over. There we go. This will have to do for now. Wait, are we in we do we have to be in this circle? Uh, that's, that's where I that's was. That's where told he to said. Be. That's where he said. Okay, yeah, so we all have to be in the circle before the jumping. Hey, which where's the big burly dude? He's in the bleachers, right? Or is he coming down? Yep. And also in the bleachers I just put in uh the the two of the um what are they called? Aspects for the room. Ah, five hoops and a lot of dreams, plus sports equipment. Sports equipment. I can use them. I mean, what? Uh. <laughs> Time to play dodgeball. Ace okay. Rick in the circle. Acer's not getting in the circle. <sighs> Fine, Acer's getting in the circle. The, the philosopher blows the coach's whistle, and uh, all the basketball games stop. All right, y'all. Uh, I know a lot of you wanted to get into the Lords of the Hood. You know, the process we usually make people do is, uh, you know, face us. And uh, we're going to do something special this time. 
any of y'all want to be in the Lords, all you got to do is face off against those four waiting in jump ball. Oh, it's going to make the nobodies attack us? So if you want to be in, just go up against them. And we'll take special notice of any of you if you take them down. <laughs> we ain't killing nobody here, boys. But be careful. Hey, where's the big dude? Yeah, I, I say like loud enough to where they all sound like, you hear that, Ken? And Ace, no killing. <laughs> big dude's in the bleachers. Oh, he's up in the bleachers? That's a problem. In your head. What do you take me for? I'm just saying, just let me do this. It makes us sound more intimidating. So I should fill you full of holes, huh? Okay. Jesus. So it looks to be about um, 20. I think you guys are just normal folk. <laughs> Going in and oh my god, the I can't find good characters to point this at because everybody seems to have a weapon and these guys don't all have one. Okay, that works. I'm not using my gun. As long as they don't start shooting. Each one of these is uh, going to be a group of five mooks. Five versus okay. one for each of us, I guess. All right, who has the highest notice score? What is my notice? Mine's I just have <laughs> my, I, I have a zero notice. <laughs> Mine's two. Yeah, two. Oh, well, that's good. You three get to go first, then. Then, uh, the Mooks, and then Nico. Oh. <laughs> Cry. So, first thing I do is I pull out. No. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I started blasting. How far can you move? Anywhere in that big triangle or that big rectangle we're in. Really? That's our zone. Okay, so... If you want to go more than one zone away, you'll be outside. Because you only have one zone in between you and anything else. And you can use your action to move to another zone. So you can only move one square at a time. Uh, if you if you wanted if you want to just move normally yes however if you do an athletics roll you can move as many uh, as you get uh, okay because because I'm just gonna explain what I'm trying to do here I'm gonna get next get in get a group of them into my zone and then use psychic maelstrom okay and you can use psychic maelstrom I mean they're in your zone Everybody's in your zone. These all twenty of these. I mean, uh, there are people watching from uh, the plastic well, practice hoops. I just realized there that counts my allies as well, doesn't it? Fuck. Yes, it does. Yeah, that's why I have to be careful if I do my thing. Actually, we uh, are Nico, just... you have to be careful if you do your thing because you're gonna kill all twenty guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to use Mental Blast to try and take control of somebody. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. I roll Will. Okay. And that's dealing... Let's see. Yeah, it's a mental attack on this group here. And... If I take someone out with such an attack, I either render them comatose or take control of their mind. And uh, because they're moves, you get control of two of them. Perfect. They're going to start wailing on their buddies. <laughs> this effect persists. Un oh, sorry. No, no, no. 
Nope, I can. Nope, that's fine. Next up, Knight or Ken, which one do you want us to go? <clears throat> I go invisible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it is his power. I just like to think that they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm looking at ruling right now. Uh, so there's something called full defense, right? Okay. Full defense. I was just trying to see, I, can I move when I... It's under optional rules. I don't know if you allow it or not, actually. I just noticed. I was scrolling up. Full defense is allowed. Sure. Okay. Um, is moving an action or would is it moving just separate? Um, moving outside of your zone would be an action. Anywhere oh. inside your zone, you're free to, to say you go anywhere, including climbing walls, running into walls, in your case. Cool. <laughs> I just <laughs> step towards these two groups. And I'm like, well, come on. Come hit me. <laughs> Oh, it made okay. more sorts. <laughs> okay, then uh, I'm going to keep doing that. What are these guys using for weapons? Well, they ain't got nothing. Uh, it looks They're like it's all fists. <laughs> oh, I've got, I've got a... Regardless armor if it's two. physical, I've got armor four. Oh, God. Oh, these guys, both of these teams of five guys are taking, uh, <laughs> taking you on because that's just. Are those their rolls? <clears throat> yes. Um, so I got to roll, I got to roll a defense against every single one of those, right? Yeah, there's just two. Oh, okay. I saw zero, one, zero. All right. Oh. Do I roll physique or athletics? I think, oh wait, toughness might actually let me use. Oh no, toughness does not let me. Okay, so I think I just use. Or would it be fight? No, like I was looking at it, it says toughness, or it says uh, athletics. It's, it's usually fight for uh, hand to hand. Athletics, athletics is usually for, um, Right, well, when someone's shooting at you or blasting at you. Okay, yeah, I wasn't. It was, unless you have a, unless you have a special stunt that lets you. Because it says, uh, "Fight and shoot can be used to make physical. Athletics can be used to fend against physical. Fight can be used. Oh, fight can be used against melee physical. Okay, which I think my fight and uh, athletics were the same as anyways. Yeah, they're the same, so it doesn't even matter. Uh, cool. So that gives me a plus two. For full defense. Uh, plus two. Full defense. Yeah, and all of their attacks are reduced by two as well. So, <laughs> from armor to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can't. They can't touch you. I'm just staring at each one as a fist comes in, hits my chest, hits my arm. Like one of them hits my hip and probably hits the bone. They're like, oh. <laughs> Which team did you um the um bedazzle Ace? Bedazzle. Which team is beating the shit out of themselves? <laughs> What's that? This one? Yeah. He started okay. fighting each other. Okay, that's very confusing as they start wailing on themselves. <laughs> two of the big I probably grabbed two of the big boys. So did <laughs> I uh, did I succeed with style? Oh, yes, you did. Succeeded with style on both of those. So um, you can come up with a couple of uh, boosts, which is basically a one-use um, aspect. Okay. That you can use for free. You get a plus two. Okay, okay. Give us the names. Give us what? Names for the uh, aspects that you, that you come up with, the boosts. Oh, easily one is going to be bruised fists. <laughs> or like, yeah, like bruised knuckles or something like that from hitting me. And they're just like, it's like hitting a wall. Uh, I guess the other one would be, 
maybe like demoralized. They're a little bit concerned that they're having zero effect. And some of these are probably buff guys too. Okay, there we go. <laughs> now we have one team that's finding themselves and the other one's going after Ace. <laughs> this is a oh. problem because, oh. you know. Yikes, they rolled pretty freaking well too. Oh. Do you have okay. a fight? Um... <laughs> Did someone not understand that I built a sniper? <laughs> no, I didn't put anything well, into fight. Did you take athletics? Yes. Because it does say athletics against physical attack, any physical attack. Yeah, you can athletics your way out of it. Maybe. Yeah, that's not going to fucking work. I have to roll perfect. We have faith in you. Mm. Um, Acer, uh, I'd like to introduce you to... The fact that you have aspects that you might be able to use. Oh, yeah. Mm. Like, if you spend one fate point on Ace of Spades, always wins because she always knows what you're thinking. I like how you think. <laughs> yes, let's use a fate point to do that. Now, with your roll up, that you can either re roll, hoping for perfect again, or if there's some other. Uh, if you want to spend a fate point on something else. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, yes, you also have uh, free, um, one free that you can use for either, well, um, one free on each of the, what are they called, as uh, aspects of the room. Buy poops and a lot of dreams and sports equipment. And that would be a free one. That would bring you to five and that they wouldn't hit you. Say you grab a basketball, so somebody punches it. <laughs> I love the idea that there's just... Actually, that does make sense. Everybody says fight at jump ball. There's probably sports equipment all over the fucking place. Yep. Okay, yes. We're going to grab whatever sports equipment on the ground. Like you said, probably a basketball. Probably so either... Only... What's that? So you only have to spend one fate point, and you get a total of five. Yes. And you get not hurt. Yay. <laughs> I like being not hurt. Don't you guys? Now let's see how those other guys uh, do against themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> well, one of them's already down. <laughs> it's it's very <laughs> Nico, your turn. <laughs> Step on up and he's going to try and get their attention off of Acer. Like walk up. Push his, push his way into the five of them and be like, it's not fair to fight a lady. Come on and hit <laughs> hey! me, jackasses. Hey, Whoops. hey, nobody talk about that. <laughs> Motherfucker, she's giving away all my secrets over here. Uh, they're not going to be conscious for long. Doesn't fucking matter. Still pissed. <laughs> we'll okay, talk your, your fight <laughs> fails. Yep. <laughs> He's mo he's less trying to fight and more like get their attention. And be like, yes, hit me, hit me. You don't know what you're doing. Hit me. Oh my god! I just realized my energy blasts have a range of three zones. Oh yes, they do. Wee! This is a small area. Okay, back uh, up to the top with who was first? Oh yes, it's a night me.
I'm sorry. We said we're back to the top? Yep. All right. The people that just started trying to fight me, we're going to fight them. Actually, hold on. Um, uh, Martyr, if you're given mental stress, can you pawn that off on someone else? No. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, technically the way I explain it is I have energy blast and I have healing and my super toughness so can I color spray you go for it <laughs> I've got six mental stress well hold on so how big is a zone actually it's just a square I, I'm still not quite understanding Okay. Uh, this whole um, third that we're in, like, I'll outline it for you. Oh, this third, like, main court, basically? Yes. That's the zone. zone. Okay, so, no, that would hit everyone in the zone. And anyone who ends the turn in your zone takes two mental stress, and anybody in the bleachers and the practice hoops would take two stress. Sorry, one stress. Which, no, we're not doing that. Okay, we're just going to use our will attack to take control of some more dumbasses and make them fight each other. <laughs> you just have the whole group by this point. <laughs> so, they start fighting them. Well, well, now you have uh, another one of them, so that's three out of the four. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sucks to be Knight. Knight. What's Knight doing now? <laughs> okay. Knight's going to grab a basketball. When he does, the basketball goes invisible. And then he's going to teleport up into the rafters. And <laughs> he's going to shoot a hoop. <laughs> basketball. I'm one of the people. <laughs> Who's throwing basketballs? That would be a shoot roll. Popping basketballs. <laughs> just yeah. forcing the, no, just forcing the play like horse. Like you just threw a really good shot, and they're like, "Shit!" Now we got to do that. <clears throat> what am I rolling again? Hold on. Shoot. I don't have a shoot. Oh no. Oh, then you're rolling at a zero. I'm sad, by the way, that I rolled a zero on my fight, because I have a plus three in fight. <laughs> okay, it's like a game of dodgeball. They all get out of the way. <laughs> Crash? Alright, so question. So, go ahead. How hard can I hit these people? Um, well, when it says something like attack everyone in a zone, if it's not a drawback but a special effect, can I... <laughs> Like, not hit my allies? Ah, uh, the special effect. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that still hits your allies. Damn. Because it's part of my super speed. Special effect, area attack. Attack everyone in his zone. So I wasn't sure. I'd be out of it, because I'm up in the rafters. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and what is a shift? Why is my brain not telling me what a shift is? Because it says you can split your shifts between oh, two. Oh, number, number of successes over a defense. Okay, so I'm confused because I have extra action. You can split your shifts between two different yet related actions, adding a plus one to each action. So if I attack one and I get like three shifts. Okay, if, I... you, if you do an attack roll, take that number of shifts, apply it to the two um, groups you're attacking. And you get a plus one on each one of those two groups. Okay. And then they roll defense. Well, I'm gonna use my super strength for this, because uh, it's not really attack as much. I'm gonna grab one of them and swing him into all his buddies. <laughs> Just a wide sweep. Batter us. Is a uh, gain of plus two physique in all situations that require pure strength. Would that count? I don't 
No, let me see. No, that's okay. You're using somebody as a play. He's <laughs> just standing him around. Let's say yes. Right. Because it's cool. Like, I just grabbed the biggest looking guy who looks like he'll probably be able to take this. And, uh, that's a plus two. <laughs> yeah, so that's a four. <laughs> both so How do you want to split those, uh, those two? I'll uh, split it evenly, so it's three and three, and each of those get a plus one, so it's a four and a four. Jesus. Oh, one of them be beats it. Oh! <laughs> oh, but wait, they're demoralized and bruised knuckles. Does that mean anything? Um, yeah, it does. Do you, Would you like to use those for um, an extra plus two? Yeah. Because we did put those on there and they go go away quickly. All yeah. right. I'll do that. So <laughs> I'll say like the first uh the first group that gets hit is probably the negative two one. They just get scattered like bowling pins. Yeah, these guys are down. And the other and the other one is down to down to uh Three out of the five guys. Yeah, those first like two of the of the five, five just took the took the body, and that's when I just stopped. <laughs> My speed had slowed enough from hitting through four other people, and then two more. <laughs> yeah, right before I do all that, I'm just like, "My turn!" I just grab his arm and <laughs> sweep. Yay. All right, uh, that would be these dudes next. Um, Can I get a boost on the guys I wiped out? No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Won't matter, they're wiped. Yeah, that group down here has uh, finished putting down their last dissenter and now are all in the uh, cult of Acer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck HP, by Acer. They are done fighting each other. They're going to start fighting... Um... Okay, that's annoying as hell. That group? Question. is Why is... I, it's just a... Sorry. My circle is a square off from where I'm quick clicking, so I'm gonna click there. It it to me it looks like I'm clicking on martyr, but it works just right. Weird. Yep. Start fighting that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Looks like the other five stopped your four to a standstill. However, that um, really pisses them off, and so they're fighting each other. Yes! <laughs> uh, this makes me happy. <laughs> they're going to try and I'm knock not... out the Cult of Martyr. They knocked Just... out all the Cult of Martyr. Yep, the Cult of Martyr is gone. Or not Just... the Cult of Martyr, the Cult of Acer. Yeah, the Cult of Acer is done. I don't know why I said Martyr. I That's think because you mentioned... I... I can always, you know, kidnap more of them. <laughs> now it's my turn. Yes, yes it is. So while they're distracted beating up their buddies, I'm going to try and beat them up. Yeah, speaking of which, there's a looks like there's three other guys who seem to be approaching. They Actually, look like they might be interested in joining in. No, I'm going to try and energy blast uh, this one. So that's a plus two because I'm using my power. Oh! 
Ow. Oh, Damn. this guy does like a backflip over your blast. <laughs> While the other two looks look at him says, Damn, he almost got you, Ian. Uh oh, these guys have names. <laughs> oh, he has a name. <laughs> I could go beat them up now. Damn, that makes me sad. I rolled another straight zero. Should have taken shoot. I didn't realize shoot was thrown. Oh well. But uh Wait, what else can you use shoot for? Literally anything ranged, all ranged attacks. Like, like maybe throwing basketballs in people's faces. Yeah, I was like, man, I really want to throw a basketball. I was like, wait, I can't. I, I'm just gonna start beaming these idiots like dead eye. Yeah, like this maroon arc of lightning shoots out of martyr's hand and just barely they manage to dodge past it doesn't seem to affect the ground where it hits it at all but it doesn't look like it would have been fun if it had touched them gotcha good thing you're you only work on uh non-human um, on humans and living things yeah don't yeah. ruin the place don't, don't uh, fuck up the place unlimited power okay acer up you're up next <laughs> so um remind me these people i mean these people are not under the influence of acer yet they have not been introduced to the cult of Acer. The, their lord and savior, Acer correct. Christ. You should have named yourself Bull. The Bull. Bull. Hey. The Bull. A Bull. The Bull. <laughs> and that's three out of five. They start fighting each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's like COVID. Just when you think you've stamped it out, it comes back to bite you in the ass. Oh man, you punched my unnamed boyfriend over there. Damn it, these guys, these three have names. Hey, if I'd known that, I should have just walked into their zone. Um. It's uh, up next is next up is night. Basketball. Okay, no. This time I'm gonna teleport uh down to just above somebody, drop down like two feet. So I'm gonna teleport two feet above them, then drop down, hit my feet on their shoulders, and then push them as I jump and flip back and land on the so, ground. So you want to land on somebody? Like this? Goomba stomp. <laughs> Goomba stomp. <laughs> which, which, which group? The group that's fighting themselves? Or the group that's fighting Ken? I'm gonna get Knight a little Mario hat. I'm gonna Go do ahead. the up there fighting crash. Whenever he Goomba stomps them, does he get money? Give me a fight roll. This, this isn't, um... Scott. <laughs> Would you like to re-roll that uh, if you spend a uh, <laughs> a fate point and use a an S? Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> which which aspect is going to help you with this? Uh, athletic, like ninja, athletic spin out. Oh. Um, you've got no no soul can lock me out. Uh, has no care for personal space. Sounds good since you're landing on someone's head. <laughs> yeah, that'd be personal space. Be like, I don't care about your personal space. Okay, that's uh, that's good. So you spend the fate point. And re-roll the Okay, that was better. 
and they go stomp and you kick one into the other one and that one falls into the last one and they're all down. And now it's Ken. <clears throat> all right, so moving into another zone, is that my action or can I still attack? You can still attack. It's just one zone. Oh, okay. Yeah, one zone is like freely crossable, as long as there's no like doors and walls in between you. Everyone you can use it to... I can nuke it. <laughs> so my area attack says attack everyone in a zone. Should I, since I technically can't change my direction, should I just change that like everyone in a zone in a line, as it's like a mini drawback? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, zones are kind of weird. Like, because uh... I realize my attack, my, I have an area attack because attack everyone in a zone, but my drawback is I can only move in a straight line. <laughs> so I was like, oh, so if yeah, I want narrat to... narratively, you can um, deal deal out the damage to all of them if you're using your spell. Yeah, I could just be like, go there and just boom. Yeah. And use my special, my physique to fight by speeding towards my targets. <laughs> oh. Well, actually, technically, yeah. I can use that. Hmm. No, wait, no, that's athletics is not to fight. Okay. See, so, yeah, I'm going to just, uh, I guess, area attack. <laughs> they just see me run, slide, and then I blink out. Oh, physique. Ooh, that's so low. As I <laughs> end up like right here. I don't, don't want to re-roll that or uh I have a fate point. Maybe... I'll try mm -hmm. it. I do have a fate point, so let's there you go. <laughs> oh, that's better. Yeah. I just reach out an arm and just clothesline. <laughs> One sec while I look up their ability. That poor middle guy rolled all negatives. Oh, yes, God. he did. Ouch. <clears throat> Yikes. Yeah, so I probably like, uh, like I said, I put my arm out and I just go for this like mass clothesline. And that's only one point of physical stress, right? For them. Well, for the two on the ends yeah so like I, I i nick them a little bit maybe they're they dodge they they kind of think like what's he oh wait i'm about to go down <laughs> but like that middle guy like i hit him dead on probably just break his upper arm or something and then keep going yeah can't that, stop that that, that stop. takes him out he's he was not expecting that considering the he was moving almost as fast as uh, you run. He was dodging when Nico tried to get him. Yeah. He just wasn't expecting that from two of you. There is now like a skid mark along the uh, <laughs> here to here. <laughs> now this one comes up to you. You keep your fucking hands off my brain. And the third was, don't hurt him too bad, Caleb. 
Yeah, they're named. <laughs> Bro, Caleb, and Ian. Got they're it. all gonna die. <laughs> We're not gonna kill them. No. Not unless you. Not unless you let me at them. No, now they don't die when I do my AOE. <laughs> and he's going to uh, try and. Well, considering you were already running fast towards the wall, he can try and push you into that into said wall. So is he trying to push me against my own strength? Hey, they didn't say it was a good idea. They said it was an idea. Ooh. Okay. So, to try to like move my body sideways or you know turn, so he doesn't <clears throat> as my like defense roll. Specifically because I get a plus two to athletics when I use my speed. Uh, ah, he barely gets me. Oh, he barely gets you. But the fact that he flung you into the wall from the distance you were away from it means he might be about as... Oh, I'm smiling. <laughs> There's some pain over there. Oh, wait. Hold on. Yes? I have a armor, too, against any purely physical damage. So the push still pushes me, but that yeah, one... But, okay. Then you don't take uh, <laughs> stress. I was, like, I was like, oh, God. Can we just pummel each other forever? Like, he has, like, armor five, please. Just kidding. <laughs> we become best friends. I found my replacement, guys. So this one. I hate when I click the wrong thing. Shoot me, shoot he, me. He um, runs over to you at high speed. <laughs> and Dad, it's me, but in three different forms. He's pretty fast. I mean, it's not as fast as you. However, at the point where normally someone would be bull rushing you, uh, maybe giving you a shoulder in the gut, he stops going forward. And immediately starts moving upwards at that same speed as if he was always running up in the first place and then he does another change where he goes forward again till it's right above your head and then down Goomba stomp style just like uh, copycat what happened although he didn't see a person there invisible man <laughs> Tech okay technically it's a teleport but it's also a damaging attack. The way uh, the way I build him is he has. It seems like he has control over gravity. What direction his speed goes in? <laughs> so like where Crash can't can't turn, oh. he can do the ultimate turns. <laughs> Sad. So essentially what this is, is you are a drag race built NHRS car, and they're a Formula One race car. Sorry. They're sounds, just, sounds good. They're um, just cooler. Anybody ever see the TV show Auto Man? Nope. Okay. He was a computer-generated person and who he was given the uh, physical form and the cop buddy he was with yes it was a buddy cop tv show he'd ride in the uh, passenger seat and he made perfect perfect turns so whenever he'd go and take a left turn it'd be like on a tron cycle oh and, nice and his psychic would go slamming into the window <laughs> <laughs> okay so i found it it's the nhra I should have remembered that. But you're like a funny car from the NHRA. And yeah, he's a Formula One race car. 
Okay, now it's uh, time for this group who finished off the cake. Wait, the uh, uh, Acer clone, the Acer uh, brigade. Is he attacking me? Oh. <laughs> or is he just like roll. landing on my shoulders I, like a buddy? I forgot the roll. I was like, because it's not a good place to be on my shoulders. That gives me a weapon. <laughs> and now I know these guys can take a punch. Sorry. Back to me? Hold oh, on. He's, I, he's attacking. I'm, something weird happened and my character sheet disappeared. I mean, really disappeared. Awkward. That's because I'm about to delete it. <laughs> wow, now I can't click on it. There we go. So what would I use against that? It's basically a uh, attack, so athletics or fight. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll I give myself a little negative because I probably don't have enough time to use my super speed to dodge that, so I'll use fight. Because I just got slammed into a wall. A question about opposition. Okay. So my armor would reduce him his uh two by two, so it's only one. Uh, when it says fair opposition plus two, so plus two opposition, what does that mean? It's like in um, minus two modifier. Okay. Because. Or you can look at it as you need to make at least two on your roll if okay. you don't want to put in the mod. Okay, okay. Hmm. Still worth a try. And I think that Crash will be fine. Yeah, that, that would essentially be one physical stress. <clears throat> Like, I probably, like, reach my hands up probably in time to catch the feet, but then they still slam my hands on my shoulders. Oh. Yeah. That's, that's, that sounds that was, fair. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for the speed that it came. <laughs> I'm not used to fighting someone that's as fast as me or someone as strong as me. I'm excited, actually, most, most of anything. All right, uh, who is next? Oh, yeah, this guy was about to try and wail on Nico because apparently trying to hit this person makes you join their side. Do it, I dare you. <laughs> yeah, Nico's even harder to hit than me. <laughs> Nico's armor four, that's a minus four to their roll, essentially. So I'm trying to understand how armor works. It's a little weird. Well, it's minus four after the roll's done in defense. Right. So, so it I takes away through. shifts of shifts of success from them. Yeah. You know, and leaves them with no stress. If they actually manage to hit, unlike these people. <laughs> and now it's Nico's turn. Yeah, he just like lets them smack him. And just like gets this fucking shitting grin on his face as he's just going to go up to uh, Ian, put a Ian's hand bad. on him to absorb all of the pain of getting clotheslined at high at Mach one, <laughs> and uh, collateral damage effects. You emanate a wave of harm from your body that affects everyone in your zone. So that exit that unfortunately will include crash, but they have to make a physique against oh, 
a <laughs> fair opposition to avoid taking a moderate physical uh, consequence. All right. Uh, so how does fair? Basically, you have to make at least a two on a physique check. Okay. Would this be a feat of pure strength to resist this, or is it not? Probably not. Mm, I'm not it's, sure. It's probably just a blast, so... Yeah, it's just a, as it said, a wave of... Uh... Oh, well. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> a wave of harm from my body. I'm used to this effect, so it's just like... <laughs> it doesn't feel uh, psycho. Oh. Uh-oh. He might have... He got moved into AFK because he wasn't talking. Oh. <laughs> back. Whoops. I'll move back. I think if you don't talk for a while, the, it automatically... Yeah, if you don't talk for a while, it puts you in the AFK barn for bad boys. All right, let's see about uh, the other guys and uh, how they do. First of all, closest to Ken. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy closest to me. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you, you heard him a little bit. And now for the big... Damn it. <laughs> what a waste. Ugh. I haven't contributed anything to this fight. <laughs> okay, now it's Acer's turn again. So, is this group entirely under my control yet? Uh, this is the group that uh, beat up your group. So, they're all cool. I thought I... Well, they killed... I mean, they beat them all up, but then I used it again. Oh, uh, yeah. So, oh. Uh, you've got two of them. Okay. Well, we're just going to keep going until... All five of them are mine. Start to three. And that's an entire group. They're gonna go fight this... Well... Knight, do you need help? Oh, he took out his targets. They're down. Oh, okay. There's just still a thing there. Oh, I still I still need a collateral damage play. So, so they're gonna go fight this guy. That that that's what I'm instructing them to do now. So that's Which my guy? this guy in the middle here. Here, it's not gotcha. my usual color. There, it's gaudy and it's just absolutely perfect. <laughs> So that's my turn. So they wail on him a little bit. <laughs> um, next up is Shadow, a knight. <laughs> Shadow is my character. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Um... I'm actually thinking there's something shiny on this dude laying in front of me, and I'm going to take it and then walk casually over to the, the practice hoops area. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was that again? Say that again. Okay. There's something shiny on one of the dudes laying down in front of me, and I'm going to take that and keep it and then casually walk over to the practice hoops area. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is perfect. This is like um what's his face from the Stramdex campaign. Oh, yeah. Johan? Except Johan leaves something in behind. Well, he takes tro trophies. Well, Nico's sure feeling like Sifle right now. 
I guess Ken's next. Remember, uh, you you have people in your uh, <laughs> in your space that are friendly. Yeah, I also have someone's ankles or feet in my hands, uh, kind of. I want to slam him to the ground. And if, just, so I'm going to pull my own uh, trouble aspect, I guess. I don't know if I can do that, where it's like I'm jealous of other people's powers. Because this guy just showed a more advanced version of my power. So I'm going to hit him a little harder than I probably should. Spending a fate point to beat the shit out of this guy? Well, no, I don't have any fate points. I wasn't sure if I, if a trouble aspect, if that's something I can, if I have to spend fate points for, I don't know. Yeah, you still have to spend the fate points oh, then use it in a good way. Oh, no, this, I'm not going for any bonuses. I'm just oh, saying. Oh, you're just, you're just saying. <laughs> yeah. My jealousy makes me want to slam this guy to the ground without, you know, just fuck it. Instead of punching him or something. Gotcha. I have his feet, so just pure strength straight to the ground. <laughs> I mean, I could give you a, I could give you a fake point if you'd like to try to actually kill this guy. Oof. Uh, mm. not now that. I'm offering, it means it costs you a fake point to not well, I don't have actually try to kill so this guy. Oh no! Okay, you gain one fake point and now you're actually trying to kill this guy. Okay. Uh, oh he's probably if I roll too high, he's probably going through the floor <laughs> brutally. Uh. <laughs> he's going through the floor brutally. Well, uh, so much for the whole "don't kill anybody" thing. Wait, you can roll physique for an attack for a pure strength. I don't know if you uh, I, should. Can I do that? If it's a pure strength of ability. Well, you didn't actually roll to get a hold of him. So, oh, okay. So, what should I do? Should I just roll fight? Just go for. Okay, he's probably better off then. <laughs> yeah, for, for now. Uh, no modifier, so just fight. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a fate point back though, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, you. you try to punch him he he takes the hit goes back a little bit and then slides off your fist pretty quickly as his feet is moved to the side the speed of him being punched away from you ow <laughs> this guy got lucky <laughs> yeah what God, is it what do you roll to grab someone Athletics. Oh, shit. Okay. I'll have to do that next turn if he's still alive. Eh, trust All right. me, it's not like I'll hit him. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Whose turn is it? Ah, uh, yes. This guy is trying to get the fuck away from you. <laughs> And he tries a running, uh, basically it's a jump kick, but his it's like he's running towards you, then he's going up a little bit, and then moves, kicks out his legs, and then before he starts falling, zoom, the speed goes towards you again, uh, Acer. So uh -huh. here comes the here comes the combat. How do uh, um. Athletics. <laughs> um, it's just a three. You could probably get. <laughs> uh, athletics or fight. Oh. Oh my God. You wow. exactly got out of the way or something. Uh, you got a what you call? Isn't that like two over as a boost or something? A what you call? Oh, always win because I always know what you're thinking. Um, no, 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 no. You can make up your own. Boost. Yeah. It's a temporary aspect because you did so. Um. Well, I just rolled, so I don't need to. I well, think it, I dodged it's that. For, it's for maybe next turn. Okay. Yeah. Now I understand. Or maybe when it, uh, like when you take your turn. Nah, crap! I wish I had remembered that was a thing because I had a four against a two last time. Uh. 
Okay, sure we're gonna do float like a hummingbird is the temporary boost. Okay. And I need to figure out what this does, correct? Hmm? Um, what do you mean? Uh, so, so basically, um, well, let me type it in. Please. So like you pick an aspect, whatever you want, and it's like a plus two to something. So like float, like a hummingbird could be plus two to your next athletics roll. If you that's kind of what I was, well. <laughs> Dagger could also work since he didn't expect you to dodge it. Uh, the next attack on him could be a plus two. Actually like reading his mind. That's that's what I'm going to call that. <laughs> mind red. <laughs> Only what the end shoot, whatever it is. I'm, I'll give it a plus two to my next will attack. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you can use it for just about anything. Yeah, you just have to have a reason. I know. <laughs> I know what you're going to think before you even think it. I just proved it. Throwing so you, you off like, your game. Images. He's doing this super speed as you're just slowly turning to the side, and his foot just goes right past you. It goes. I mean, it's literally <laughs> like One Punch Man. Yeah. <laughs> just how did he do How did they dodge my shot? So, whose turn is it this time? All right. Uh, next up is Knight. Actually, wait. Well, no, this, no, the, no. We still got one <laughs> more big guy. And then it's back to the top. No, I haven't gotten a turn yet. So it'll be my turn after him. Ah, right. gotcha. Yeah, this guy's really mad. He still wants to get up in your face. <laughs> but he fails. It's probably. Uh, yeah. Now I'm a little bit more open. I can use my super speed to just tilt, turn my head out of the way or something or move my whole body. I gotta use athletics whenever I can for this because come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. E easy, Doc. <laughs> uh, that was Nico's turn. Alright, we're gonna try to shoot oh. the guy fighting Acer. Can I say my, uh, my boo? Nice. My boost is, uh, um, Grabbed. Okay, your boost is grabbed. Uh, the I will have to mention that he's not the one you want to. He's not the one that you're going to want to have to go after to kill. You still have a real mad hard on for his brother. <clears throat> you mean I can't bring him with me and use him as a weapon? Oh, oh. I guess you can. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got super speed, right? <laughs> This guy's going down. All right, so I guess that's two stress. Is that bolt strikes him in the back, and he feels feels like his he just got clotheslined at high speeds. Yeah, he's gonna take a minor um, consequence of aches and pain. Uh, <laughs> aches and pains. Yeah. I'll call Now, the first time anybody uses that uh, to help beat the shit out of him, it's free. But after that, you have to spend a fate point for it. <laughs> oh, God. Someone use it. Yeah, can... And now it's Ace's turn again. Can we not kill them when we were told not to kill them? Well, you can't... You, you don't have to kill them. <laughs> Only no. one person has to keep trying to kill them. Yeah... Is that at least until he's down? Like, if Acer takes him down. Well, I've got my own problems going on right now. <laughs> and, yes, we are going to use a, mind, a mental blast again to try and 
We're gonna... No, there's only him and one other guy left. We're just gonna try and knock him out. Well, there's still the group of people. They're here. on her side. I, Yeah, okay. I'm mind-controlling them. They're coming to help you. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. Uh, what's that? Nothing. Can we just knock out Ken? <laughs> you guys don't know Ken really wants to kill this guy yet? Yeah. I was gonna say, that's... No, because it know. sounds like Ken's gonna try and kill everybody. Oh. Are you really gonna try and kill everybody? No. Okay. Because I can make them go to sleep if you are going to. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah. Just gonna use the Mind Blast on the guy closest to us. And we'll get another plus two on top of our plus three. I hit the button. Did it work? So that's a seven. <laughs> that's, yeah. Is this like, um, which, which Avengers movie is that? Veronica Stark punching, well, Stark in Veronica punching He Man. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Did I say He Man? I meant the Hulk. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> yes, I'm mixing my, uh, yeah, comics now. <laughs> so seven and two. Yeah, I just render him comatose. Trying. That's what I'm going for. Cool. Well, he's he's gonna take a uh, a uh, ma a consequence, not the mild one, the one up from that. Moderate. <laughs> Help him. He stay up. Moderate. That's it. And so he is now mentally stunned and has aches and pains, which means that's two things you can use, Ken. <laughs> Guys, why are you doing this? This guy's gonna die. Because hey, we thought you'd hey, have Mike, more control than that. I didn't have any control. Since I didn't have a fate point, I didn't get a choice. <laughs> I was thinking about teleporting up in the bleachers and watch the show. At this point, yeah. That's probably safe. Well, you just try to kill him, I can the, heal him. Just teleport next to the philosopher. Be like... Yo, I'm gonna chill over here with you guys. <laughs> Come up here and fucking just sit out and pull out like a snack cake that I took from Acer's house and munch on it and watch the show. You dick! That's where that went! I was saving that! <laughs> Aspect gained the last one. <laughs> okay, Ken. <Okay, Ken. laughs> So I have this guy grabbed. Yes. Um, and now he's my weapon. So I'm just... <laughs> These guys, they're kind of scattered about, right? These guys right here. Yeah. Like three of them left. Because I'm just going... Just... Oh, wait, that wasn't a straight line, was it? I guess it is. Straight enough. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, that'll work. As I pull this guy with me, and just spin him into his brother. Let's see that physique roll. Ah, uh, so that's pure strength. Oh no, that's yeah, that's pure. Hmm. Wait, would I use my stunt physique to fight, or would I use my pure strength for this? Uh, probably to fight. Okay, if... and no plus two. That's why I was like, <laughs> but. Because you still have to hit him with his brother. Yeah, now do I have to take those aspects? Or do I cannot take them? Oh, you don't have to take them. You can wait on that and maybe have get a chance to kill him later if you don't kill him with this. Cool, let's hit him with his brother. Yay! He doesn't get to die yet. He manages to stumble out of the way, unless you want to use one of those uh, points uh, uh, to... Re Aches uh, and pains, mentally stunned. Can I use both to make it an even contest? 
Uh, you can use one of them to get plus two on on that roll. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. if you use both, yeah, you bring me the three. <clears throat> this is like that way. It's like an it's a, a tie essentially. All right, and now it's everybody's turn. Uh, who's against? Well. It's all my guy's turn, including the ones that are brain. I was excited for a second. It's everybody's turn. You're on a tie. You barely connect. Wait, what? If I tie, you cause a defender to flinch and I get a boost? That's weird. You could you could uh, put a boost on if you really want with that even... I mean... It's not like he doesn't have two boosts on him already. That you take, so now I can't take him. Yeah, I'll put another boost on him. Uh, we'll just say, like, staggered. <laughs> this poor guy. He just had his brother swung at him. And he, like, barely connected. He was just able to speed out of the way. <clears throat> there you go. And his brother's probably like he, I probably had to let go of his brother now, so he's free to do whatever. So uh, the Acer army <laughs> attacks attacks the brother that got swung. Oh, oh wait, never mind. That does. And he <laughs> takes it like a champ. Doesn't get hurt at all. He seems to be faring better than his brother. Yeah. But then it's his turn. He should totally just. He looks totally pissed, and he balls up his both his fists in the, into uh, one big attack, and he he's uh, basically going to you know. When Hulk smashes the ground and everybody gets shaken. Collateral, yeah. And that's when uh, there's a surprising whistle, uh, blow of the coach's whistle from the oh. philosopher. Cut that shit out, Caleb. Uh, it, he's still going, though. Those fists are moving. And uh, Philosopher says, block, CT. And what the, the guy who does not have a whole bunch of uh, flair on his jacket just reaches out and what looks like a force field appears on the ground right where his fists are about to hit. And they bounce off harmlessly. Ooh. And the, the girl who's been doing his hair, who's almost finished, um, you're sitting right next to them, right, uh, Knight? <laughs> yeah. Just chilling. Eat yeah. my cake. Yeah, there's a reason why she's able to um, cornrow hair that long, that fast. Her fingers twist around each other like rubber bands. And she takes one hand out of his hair and basically stretches an arm all the way from where you are to smack Caleb in the face. <laughs> <laughs> The Cut that shit up, football. Caleb! He yells again. Caleb slowly blinks and shakes his head like he was about to wreck shit up. <laughs> the scientific term. Then he looks at his brother and realizes, oh shit, he's hurt. He goes yeah. over to his side. Man, you okay? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He hit me with you. Uh, hit you with me. <laughs> he hit you with me. Game's over, boys. Everybody. Tend to yourselves. New new bunch, get over here. He's looking at... And he looks over at uh, Knight. You too. Uh, unless Knight never became... No, I came visible when I went and sat in the bleach. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, Nico like walks up to Ken and gets like right in his face and it's like, you need to learn to calm the fuck down. 
You both need to just get over it and move on. Come on. I don't know what you're talking about. It ain't over. Stomps off. There's a couple footprints almost. Unless you want to get the crap beat out of you by the rest of these guys, it's over. <laughs> no, he's talking to Ken like, uh, you just tried to murder that dude. That's a no-no. I kind of didn't see that as much, though. Like, I slammed him to the ground, but he resisted so... Or I tried to slam him to the ground, but he blocked he's not, the punch. And... He's not trying to kill him. He's just not holding back. If he's not tough enough to not die, that's not Ken's problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I swung his brother at him, but I don't think he could really... Uh, maybe, I don't know. Unless there was like a physical shockwave of when I punched him. <laughs> All right. Move a, a safe, healthy, double social distancing distance away from... Uh, and set... Yeah. Near... Yeah. What's the right? Philosopher. Uh -huh. hmm. All right, I think y'all pretty much proved why I can trust you. And uh, yeah. sorry about Kale, he gets excited. <laughs> but I wasn't going to let him fuck up my floors. See, I told you that we were a lot more alike than we seem. All right, how do I... Uh... How do we get these jobs you're talking about? Well, the two of you that want to work for Big Bone, just to say that uh, the Promenevco kid sent you. Uh, don't forget they gave you a um, form to form. fill out a form. That, and well, we got these for you. All right. He takes and looks at this is a fucking job application? It's pretty stupid, yeah. Just do it. Trust me, we had to do it. I'll do you one better. Y'all did good. In fact, we got some people who pretty pretty much uh, proved themselves to be pretty hardcore. Uh, he blows the whistle. <laughs> Yo! All y'all can still get up and walk. Welcome to the Lords of the Hood. Y'all the best of the best now. And <laughs> some of y'all might uh, like to have a new job. He hands the papers to uh, the guy who made the force field. Block, run these upstairs to the office and make some... Um, he looks over to group. 15 copies. Damn. He takes it, all right, you okay? Yeah, you sure? He's still looking at you guys like he's not sure he trusts you. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't go this far if it weren't for uh, the fact that they mean it. All right. And he goes running off. Fifteen people sound good? <laughs> Definitely. All right. <laughs> in Knight's head. Hey, get us a couple people. We need at least two. Well, you just you just heard him say you're getting 15. Well, I had just assumed it was only for big fat fat ass cannoli, okay? <laughs> big big bone pony. No, the form, the form he gave you guys to give out, the same one they gave Nico and Ken to give out. All right. Seven okay. goes to one, seven goes to another. No, uh, seven goes to one, eight goes to ours. We get the finder's fee. Yeah. Sounds reasonable. I'm you really are going about this. Come on. <laughs> hey. Trust me, it'll look good for both of us, though. They told us to get one each. We're both going back with, like, four each. No response. 
So uh, Block gets back with the uh, papers and pens. Okay, all y'all fill out this form. You, 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 this and you. This is from Google. Hold on. <laughs> Hello, Google. Google is weird. It wants to answer me. I don't know why. <laughs> you, 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 and you. He points to like the first five guys who uh, actually no, five, six, eight of the guys who uh, you who Acer and Sorcel. Five, eight <laughs> of them. Y'all, y'all not in yet. <laughs> Rest of y'all, come up and fill these fucking forms out. <laughs> Poor bastards. And just so that we're clear, whatever you put down, no one else is gonna know. No risk to privacy. That's good. In your head you hear, yeah, you say that, but I don't fucking believe it. And you hear back, I don't either, but they don't need to know that. <laughs> So are we done here? Yeah, yeah, y'all done. As soon as they get that paperwork filled out, there's guys sitting by the walls filling out paperwork. I imagine some of them are having just as much trouble as, as fucking. Me. Yeah. Yeah, a few of them are. Oh shit, man! Says a voice from the uh, door out. It's the maintenance man looking in. Still got blood all over the fucking floor. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> it's all right, man. Man, we cool. All right. But that means we got to close up early because I got to clean this shit up before tomorrow. You man. got it, man. You got it. If anybody can, should be helping. Inside your head again, you hear, can we not do this until we're outside, please? Fine. And they finish up the forms and give them to you. So now you have 15 happy little forms filled out and ready to be brought back. 15 of course, by now the, uh, the place is closed, so you have to do it tomorrow. Yeah. that That's not a problem. We still have 15 <laughs> forms. Yeah. They said they needed them by tomorrow. It You know, they'll get them by tomorrow. Tomorrow night. And that makes this a good wow. place to uh, start doing sign-offs. <laughs> Let's Before start with we crap. All start yelling at each other about what a shit show this was. Yes, this was hilarious. My god, yeah. We'll start with Crash. Yeah. <clears throat> what up? I'm Crash. Uh, I go through things at high speeds really hard and I'm built to take it like a truck like a Ford truck um, I don't know what the actual truck is good Toyota Strong or whatever uh, sponsor built Ford Tough you mean yeah there we go uh, yeah I, I got to well I got to have the GM invoke my trouble aspect. I, I was just like, this is perfect because this guy is showing such more skill with super speed than I could ever have. I was just like, oh, this would totally make Ken jealous. Like, uh, I don't know about the killing thing, but maybe just, oh, it's okay, it's whatever. <laughs> you had it was your choice. Um, well, it, you were out of uh, fate points. I didn't realize that at the time. Yeah, it's okay. It was fun. Um, let's see. You can catch me on Saturdays, not this Saturday, but normally Saturdays for either Justice Grab Bag, uh, for as either Bear the Boulder Breaker, uh, and Legion Championship Wrestling, or if we do any of the other ones like Faulty Comics Presents as Kingfisher, uh, the exact opposite of this guy, um, and running Spark of Fate every other Saturday with uh, a diminishing group of people it's kind of scary but it's okay it's coming to an end we're wrapping up i'm excited uh, i can't wait 
And Sundays, you can catch me weeks Cosmos in Cosmos as Amar Rolord, the old as fuck Evan Dulles teacher, <clears throat> and a uh, a new character who you'll just have to watch to find out. As Trell Gragoslick is going to return to his home to uh, balance his affairs and make sure his family doesn't make them go broke. <clears throat> Shh, be quiet. You don't know that. Uh, and then after that, when we whenever we start back up Tales from the Strike first, you can catch me as Oliver Burr. The bear who is just a bear and a biotechnician and a biohacker. So many bees don't bring a knife to a bear fight. Uh, and then, yeah, on Tuesdays is Nolo Barik, the uh, gray Jedi who's not really a Jedi, just uses the Force, who will take your guns using Force, just like the government. Um, <laughs> and will soon be able to throw the moon at you. Yes. Uh, I mean, yes! But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I think that's all my games right now. Yay. All right, Acer. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sarah Smith, and you just saw me playing Acer, the uh, sharpshooter on a budget. And uh, yes, today we were doing well, let's just say it, it's not exactly Acer's cup of tea. I mean, generally. You know, you hire a sharpshooter slash sniper to, you know, use a gun. Uh, you know, that's what metal men are for. Metal men. And, um, yeah. But uh, other than that, let's see. You can, other, other than that, uh, I think things did all right. We got involved in a uh, what I what is definitely not some side of pyramid you know, multi-level marketing scheme. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, this is the first time a bad guy has ever told me I can't have cash. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> uh, you can also find me, let's see, tomorrow playing Heracles, the uh, paladin who is getting ready to fuck shit up. I forgot Thursdays. Especially forgot. since he has a new mount. You'll just have to tune in tomorrow to see what that mount is. And you can also it's find me... Worm. Not that close, but... You can also find me on... Oh gosh, let's see. Thursday, nothing Friday. Um, Saturday. Not this Saturday, but... Some Saturday, playing uh, Mole Chamber Shard, the uh, dwarf who is finally accepting the fact that he needs to be heal bitch and uh, not tank bitch. Yeah. Unfortunately. And you can also find me on, uh, let's see, Sundays running Tales from the Cosmos where a band of intrepid adventurers are just finished killing a tree and uh, are now dumpster diving. And, uh, not dumpster diving, but Sewer dot. It just sounds better when you say dumpster diving. Another party, the member. Another party that's dumpster diving. And so we'll see what happens. Monday, you can catch me playing uh, Twinkle Bailey, the Isekai, who is not entirely sure what the fuck to do now that, uh, well, the two people he had made solid friends with are gone. The only people left are well, the the guy he owes money to, the guy who wants <laughs> the guy. The lady who wants to use him as a parrot. The really tall, scary lady that is now his new boss. And, um, yeah. We'll see what else. We <laughs> we'll see what other crap happens. Uh, that's everything. All right. Uh, tell us about yourself, Knight. All right. And I'm psych. I got to play Knight tonight, which. It was kind of weird, because I'm not much of a fighting person. But I got a new shiny, so that's important. Plus, that cake was really good. Just saying. But, hey, that was fun. That was mine. It was sitting in the cabinet. It's okay. my house. Oh, right. Eh, whatever. Let's see. <laughs> Alright, other games I'm in. Let's see, Thursday, I'm in the Legacy of Stramdex as Neath. A little psionic guy, I don't know. Uh, Saturday, in the Justice Grab Bags in Flesh and Fire. Apocalypse World, I get to play a little mechanic named Jake. 
I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, other one is Legion Class Wrestling, where I play, play Adam Mason, who is a wrestling manager for Bear the Boulder Breaker. Um, when we get back to stale, Tales from the Strike Burst on Sunday, I play Shuss. And then I got voted into the Fire Strike on Monday to play an Android. So I'll be on that now. That'll be fun. Good luck. <laughs> uh, other thing I'm on is the Star Wars thing on Tuesdays as Ma Steel, where I am the group healer person. Make you feel better with the Force. And that's all my addictions. <laughs> all right. Martyr? Ah. My whole friend Dolos, my name is James, otherwise known as Nighthorn. And you caught me here today playing Martyr, the guy who uh, is quickly turning into Thursdays in terms of my luck. But he did manage to convince the gang to give us at least a chance to join our Ponzi scheme. And it worked. They told us to come back with one each, and now we're coming back with, like, four each. So we're going to be teacher's pet. On Thursdays, you can find me in Legacy of Stramdex, where I play Sifle, the Tibet Duskblade turned bonded summoner and his bonded uh, air elemental precipitous, who has many hats, according to my my uh, role macros, because I thought it was funny. Um... On Saturdays, depending on the Saturday, you can either find me in one of many different Justice Grab Bags, or you can find me in A Spark of Fate as Marin Farcaller, the boring old human sorcerer with the not-so-boring fairy pretending to be a fruit bat named Zamzam. Oh, Zamzam. On Sundays, you can find me in Tales from the Cosmos, where I play a whole bunch of different characters, including, whenever we go back to that side of the world, Raul Damaris, the homunculus alchemist, who is uh, fighting a bunch of proto-hymns, which is kind of... Uh, mentally distressing, but at the same time, he's just trying not to think about it. Also, alchemists are fun, because I can make, like, 700 million potions whenever the hell I want. Every day. Um, and on Mondays, I am part of the crew of the Fire Shrike, where season four, with a character who apparently I'm not allowed to talk about, because then I get yelled at. So you'll have to wait and see who that is. And in Tuesdays, I am in the Star Wars game where I play Chaitin Neviki, the Grey Jedi, who got a whole box of lightsaber parts to make up to six new lightsabers. But he's not General Grievous, which means I can't use them all, which means I'm sad. And that's about it. I'm in everything. <laughs> and I'm the Computer King. And in addition to running this, on Sundays, I'm in Tales of the Cosmos, playing both... Uh, Eliadris Night Eye, the monk who just helped just, uh, give a tree euthanasia, and uh, Corin Deadblade, the wizard who swings a bastard sword who's currently going through a sewer crawl. It's like a dungeon crawl, but much smellier. <laughs> I'm also in Tales from the Shrikeverse as Shadow, the cat person who sounds like Ricardo Montalban. Uh, and every day that I'm not in a role-playing game, you can find me on my own stream, The Computer King, who are usually playing Magic the Gathering Arena, sometimes playing Apex Legends. And I think that's about it for tonight, folks. Let's uh, end this with um, R.I.P. Pyramid Scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so he admits it. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right pyramid, pyramid scheme. scheme.